Hello and welcome to Professor Pincushion. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do alterations for increasing the width of your satin sleeve. I'm going to demonstrate on how to do it with a short sleeve and also a long sleeve. Also, I'm going to show you how to do extensions if you need to increase your sleeve width by more than two inches. We're going to include also on how to increase the width of your armhole of your bodice pieces and to increase your bodice bust line if it's more than four inches. So let's see what we're going to need in order to get started. In order to do our alteration, we're going to need our pattern pieces, a tape measure because we're going to do a little bit of measuring, two different color pins, my cardboard, and some straight pins because I'm going to be pinning and pivoting on my cardboard, and then some paper. The first thing we need to do is figure out how much we need to increase our sleeve size by. So what you're going to do is grab your tape measure and you're going to measure around the fullest part of your arm, which is going to be the bicep. Once you get that measurement, you're going to, usually with woven fabrics, you need to add ease. So I would add two inches of ease and write this number down. Next, what you're going to do is you're going to take your sleeve pattern and you're going to measure across the widest point, but you need to take off seam allowance if their seam allowance is built in. So I, for this particular pattern, it's five eighths of an inch. So I just measured over five eighths of an inch put a mark and I did the same thing on this side. So I'm going to measure from this mark to this mark and I'm going to figure out what this number is. So for me it's 14 and a half inches so we're done with this for right now. I'm just going to grab a piece of paper so we can do a little bit of math here. We'll say the sleeve is 14 and a half inches across. I measured my bicep the circumference of that is 15 and a half inches. And this is with the two inches of ease built in. I'm going to subtract that. Whatever this number is, you're then going to take it and you're going to divide it by two. So that's a half inch. And I'm dividing it by two because if we were to look at the sleeve, there's two sides. So we're going to add, or I'm going to add a half inch on this side and a half inch on this side. Take a large piece of paper that's bigger than your sleeve and I'm going to pin it to my cardboard. So I have cardboard under this. Then I'm going to take my pattern piece, I'm going to lay it on top and I'm just going to use my straight pins and I'm going to pin the pattern to the cardboard or to my paper. And I'm just doing this so I can make sure it's not going to shift because the next part is I'm going to outline the whole pattern with one of my markers. In this case, I'm doing black. So I'm just going to trace around the whole thing. I'm going to show you how to do this alteration on a short sleeve first. And I just want to mention that we're going to be extending here. And if you're doing more than an inch on each side, then you have to do something a little bit different because we're going to have to add an extension and then it starts to affect the bust line as well. If you're doing less than an inch on each side, then you're fine to just continue following along with me. So all I'm going to do is on each of my underarm seam line right here, I'm going to go out whatever my number was in my calculation. So for me it was a half inch and I'm going to make a mark, half inch out, see my little mark right there, and I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Then what you're going to do is you're going to take one of your straight pins and usually you have a large dot that's at the center of the cap here. You're going to put your straight pin through that large dot. I put it right in the middle and you can see I have several of them so I'm just doing the one that's for my size. If you just have one then just do the one. You can go ahead and remove the other straight pins and you can see now I can move and pivot my pattern freely. So all I'm going to do is pivot the pattern until my cutting line for my underarm seam here meets my mark. So about right there and I'll just put a pin to hold it. I'm going to grab my other marker, my other color marker and I'm going to draw down my cutting line here and you only need to go down an inch or so. You're not going down the whole length here, just about an inch. And then I'm going to follow along 
with the cutting line now of my pattern in its new position until I get to the top here. So I'll just do the whole thing. Once I finish this side, then I'm going to remove this pin and do the same thing on this side. So I'm going to pivot this until it meets my mark, draw down the underarm seam about an inch, and then trace along the cutting line until I get to the top again. Shift your pattern back to its original position. I'm going to go ahead and remove my straight pin out of the middle here because we don't need it. The next step what we're going to do is you're going to take your pattern piece and you're going to carefully shift it over or slide it over until your cut line again meets your line. Go ahead and pin it into place. And now you're just going to continue down the underarm seam line. And because this down here, my black line, if I just remove my pattern, you can see here, doesn't quite meet my line. I'm gonna go ahead and extend that as well. So now those lines meet. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. So I'm gonna slide it, make sure it's in my original position before I slide it over to meet this line and do the same thing on this side as well. Go ahead and replace your pattern back to its original position. You can go ahead and tape it down. So now the new red line is gonna be the line that you're gonna cut out for extending your pattern piece, but this hemline down here on the bottom remains the same. If you're doing a long sleeve, there are gonna be some similarities. The first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna place it in the middle of your pattern and you're gonna do an outline of your pattern piece, just like you did before. Then you're good from the side, you're going to extend and make a line with your other marker, the, whatever the measurement is that you're extending it by. So in my case, it's half inch. And you do it for both sides. You place your pin in that center dot that's right at the cap. And again, I'm doing it for my size. So my straight pin is in there. I'm gonna go ahead, pivot my pattern until it meets with my mark at the side here. And then I'm gonna go ahead Place a pin to hold it. I'm gonna draw a line down this underarm side seam about an inch, and then I'm gonna also go along this cutting line until I reach the top of the cap of the sleeve. This is where it's going to change. You're then going to take a measurement for whatever your seam allowance is, and you're gonna measure from this part here that seam allowance. So if I have 5 eighths of an inch for my commercial pattern, I'm gonna measure 5 eighths of an inch, draw a line and do the same thing up here. Five eighths of an inch, draw a line. Where that intersects, I'm gonna go ahead, place my straight pin right in the middle. You can go ahead and remove the straight pin up here. And then you're going to pivot back your pattern piece until your pattern meets your original line down here. Then you can go ahead grab your other marker, and now you're going to go right along the cutting line again. You're just gonna blend these two lines together. And this is gonna be the new cutting line for this side. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on this other side over here. You can then replace the pattern back to its original position within the black line. Go ahead, tape it down, and now you're gonna have your new line that you're gonna cut out, which is going to be the red line. And you're gonna see it's gonna actually taper into the black line, so the bottom portion of the sleeve is back to its original position. So you're just gonna cut on the black line down here. And then for wherever the red line diverts, you're gonna cut on the red line. I had mentioned earlier that if you need to extend your sleeves, you can't do more than one inch per side, which is two inches total for each sleeve. The problem is, is that if you extend it more than that, then what you're doing is changing the shape and the size of the sleeve, and it's no longer going to fit in the armhole of your bodice. So you can do it, but then you gotta go and adjust your bodice armhole as well. Or if it's the other way around, and you increase your bodice or your bust line so much that you change the shape of the armhole 
and then you need to go ahead and increase the sleeve as well. So we're going to start going into that and we're just going to take one scenario. If for example, let's say you did your measurement and you figure out that you need to adjust your sleeve four inches total. So this is both sides together. So it would be two inches on each side. You're, what you're going to do is from this four inches, you're going to subtract the maximum amount that you're allowed to pivot it, which would be two inches, because it's one inch on each side that you're allowed to pivot it. And that means you're left with two inches that you need to add. So after I pivot one inch on this side, one inch on this side, I'm left with two inches total or another one inch on each side that I still need to extend the sleeve in order to make it four inches. So what we're gonna be doing is, we're gonna be pivoting an inch on each side first, taking care of these first two inches. And then what we're gonna do is just draw out an extra extension of one inch on each side, and then that's gonna give us the total of four inches. So it would be two inch pivoting, and then the extra two inch sliding from the side. So I'm gonna actually grab my pattern piece again and show you how to do this. You're essentially going to start the same as you would any other. So you draw your outline around the whole thing. This time you're gonna mark out the one inch on each side, which is the maximum amount that we're allowed to pivot. You're gonna place your pin, the center dot at the top of the cap. You can see I marked the one that's in my size. Then I'm gonna go ahead, pivot my pattern until this side meets my line. So as soon as that meets, about right there, I'm gonna go ahead and place a pin to hold it. I'm gonna mark down this side here about an inch. And then I'm also gonna do the same thing along this cutting line until I reach the top of my cap. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. So I'm gonna pivot over here until it reaches. Better stick that in there. Go down an inch. And then also mark up here until I reach the top of my cap line. Return your piece back to its original spot, and then you're just going to slide the pattern along the hemline until it meets your new side. And then you're gonna go ahead and draw your new line down and across the bottom hemline. And you can see I've already done that on this side. Now that I'm done with the pivoting, I've increased my sleeve by two inches total, one inch on each side. So now we still need to do another inch on each side in order to get my four inches that I need. So all you're going to do, this part is very easy, for the short sleeve, all you're gonna do is from this point up here, you're gonna measure out another inch. I also did another inch right here. And I'm just drawing a, a line that's one inch out. You don't even really need your pattern at this point here. So draw a line, and I'm gonna draw a line across here draw a line across here. And you can also transfer your notch. And I would do the same thing on the other side. So I have the one inch, one inch, so then that's my total four inches that I need. Now this is for the short sleeve. If you're doing the long sleeve, it's just like we did before. You're going to bring this to the corner, put in your pin, and you're gonna pivot your pattern so you can eventually taper it down to your original line down at the bottom of the sleeve. We're now gonna be moving on to the bodice pieces. So even if you tell yourself the only alteration you need to do is the sleeve, we still have to work with the bust line area because since we made the sleeve so much larger by four inches, we now need to extend this armhole area. So you're gonna take whatever that extension is for your sleeve. So we did four total inches and we're gonna transfer it to the bodice piece. So there's two sides to the front, two sides to the back. That's four sides total. So you take the four inches, divide by four. That's one inch on each side. 
So on the side seam area, you're going to mark out one inch. So again, you're only doing this if there's no other alterations that need to be done to the bust line. You're going to stick a pin into our pivot point at the top shoulder. So that's your seam allowance down and your seam allowance over. So I went five eighths over, five eighths down, and then I put a straight pin in there. Remove all your other straight pins and you can see I went ahead and did an outline around my pattern piece. And I'm just going to pivot this piece from this point until the side seam meets my mark here. Whoops. Then I'm going to grab my other marker and I'm going to redraw the armhole. With it still in this position, you're now gonna move your straight pin to your pivot mark down on this end. So that seam allowance down, seam allowance over, and you're gonna put a pin. You can go ahead and remove this one up here. And now you're gonna pivot this bottom part until the bottom meets your original line down here. So now this side is going to taper in. So now I'm gonna redraw this line. Replace your pattern back to its original spot and you can go ahead and tape it into place. And now you have a new cutting line that's extending this armhole section. So I did this for the front. Go ahead and do the same thing for the back, making sure that you're doing your alterations on the side seam and armhole section. So now we're gonna look into the situation if you've increased your sleeve, but you also need to increase your bust line in your bodice. So this is a case if you've measured your bust line and it's definitely bigger than the pattern and you also need to increase it and you're probably increasing it by more than four inches. So we're gonna be doing the normal pivot and we're also going to be doing the extended extension on it. So to do this, what we're gonna do is, first we're gonna look at how much we're extending our sleeve by. And if we go back to our old measurement, we did four inches and then we took off the max that we could pivot it and we ended up with two inches. So we did two inches in the extension, which is a sliding, which gave us one inch each. So it was one inch each side. I'm gonna take this one inch and I'm gonna multiply it by four four because now I'm taking this and I'm transferring it to this measurement as well. And there's four sides, two on the back, two on the front. These are how many side seams you have in your pattern piece. So that means I again have four inches. So you're gonna take whatever your measurement is that you're extending the, the bus line by. So whatever's extra. So let's say I need six extra inches for my bus line because I need it to fit six inches, then I'm gonna take this number and I'm going to subtract it. That gives me two inches extra. So I'm gonna take these two inches, I'm gonna divide it by four, and that's gonna give me a half inch. This half inch is going to be my pivot for both my bodice pieces. So for the front, I'm gonna pivot half inch. For the back, I'm gonna pivot half inch. Now again, if we take this half inch and we multiply it by the four sides, we end up with two. But again, we need it to be extended by six. So you have this leftover four. You're gonna divide that by four. Again, there's four sides. Gives you one inch. So that means we're doing our extension. Let me just move this up our extension, or we're sliding it, an extra one inch. So now let's just do this math to make sure that we get everything correctly. So I'm pivoting a half inch on each side, that's four sides, so that gives me two inches. Plus, I'm extending an extra one inch on each side, and there's four sides, it's four inches, equals six inches. So for me, that's exactly what I want because that's what I'm going to need to do. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my front bodice piece and I'll show you how to do that. So you're gonna do this for both the bodice front and bodice back. I'm just gonna show you on the front and you're doing this on the side seam next to where you have the armhole. 
The first thing is I outline the pattern in one color and I'm going to use my sewing gauge and measure out and make a mark whatever my pivot measurement was. So in my case it was a half inch. You can see my little mark right there. I'm going to make sure I put my straight pin in my pivot point up here at the top. So that's my seam allowance down and my seam allowance in and where those two lines intersect. I'm going to go ahead and pivot my pattern. So I'm just pivoting it till this side seam or side cutting line meets my mark. Then I'm going to go ahead replace my pin in here to hold it and draw my new armhole. Then just like before, you're going to put your straight pin where you have your pivot point right here underneath the armhole. You can go ahead and remove this one and you're going to pivot your pattern back until you meet up with your original line down here. And then I'm going to use my red pin to trace along this line. With my pivoting, I've extended my bust line by a half inch on each side, which is two inches total. So now we're going to do the extension part. So from this corner here, I'm going to measure out one inch and I'm going to make a mark. And you see, I already did it here. I'm just going to use my ruler to draw a straight line out to it. Then I'm going to take my pattern piece. I'm going to place it right at that point and then place my pin right back at that intersection point that I had before. I can go ahead, pivot my pattern again so it meets back up with the original line down here at the bottom. Put in another pin and then I'm going to go ahead and draw a new line and this is going to be my final line here. Go ahead and replace your pattern back to its original position, tape it down and now you're going to cut out on your new red line and it's going to be this outside red line right here and then once it comes in back into the black line you can go ahead and cut out on your original line. So mostly everything stays intact, but what you did is extend the armhole and you also extended the bust line by six inches. Make sure to check out our other videos and visit ProfessorPincushion.com to view our complete library with well over 150 sewing video tutorials. New tutorials are released regularly, so make sure to subscribe to be notified of the next release. Thanks for watching.